Hey guys, just want to welcome everybody this morning to uh, Winter Wellness. And today we're gonna, I'm gonna be sharing 10 tips for thriving this winter. Um, just, I love that our Optimal Health God's Way team can get together and learn from each other. It's always a pleasure to see everyone. And so let's just jump right in. I want to share that I think my time in Texas did. I don't know that I could uh, teach about winter until now, even though I was teaching about winter, because it hasn't gotten above freezing here in what seems like two months. And um, man, I feel claustrophobic in that big coat all the time, but I can definitely say that um, we're loving teaching about Young Living full time and the opportunity that Young Living has given us to do that. And the winter has just been a big adjustment for us. So my name's Danielle Choma, and I've been using Young Living for about eight years now. And, you know, I started um, the picture you see on the right um, of my daughter when she was one year old. That was when I really had an aha moment with Young Living and I started my journey. I never meant to do this as a business. It was just I wanted to help, I wanted to help my kids and the Lord placed a wonderful person in my life, Laura Hopkins, that you see in the middle there. And it was just a mom helping another mom um, and us just learning how to help our kids um, and um, learning how to thrive. And so I want to share about Melrose because that's a huge oil that I believe everyone needs in their winter wellness regimen. Um, it is a blend that includes uh, melaleuca, rosemary, and some other oils. And it is great for your ears, which is why she shared it with me. And we needed it for my daughter at that time. And so what we would do is we would just take one, one to two drops of that Melrose and we would rub it around her ear and down her neck. You could even put a drop on a cotton ball and then place that cotton ball right there in the ear at night. And it was, it was just um, amazing and from that moment I, I just I knew that I needed to know more and I wanted to know more and I started to um, from there just I, I just started researching a little each day maybe 30 minutes a day reading about what I could do to help my family and it all started with a little bottle of Melrose so you never know who you can help just by sharing maybe you have a bottle of thieves in your purse maybe you have some lemon don't be scared to just say, hey, have you ever tried this oil? Take a drop. You never know how life-changing that it could be, and there are people who are looking for something different, and that was me. I was looking for something different. So I, w I went online. It was funny. I went online to just kind of get ready for this class, and I was looking for some tips for staying healthy, and I started reading through some different websites and different books, and you know, there were all these lists of things to do. And I thought, wow, all these lists work perfectly with what we do with Young Living and how we use our products when we are wanting to be have a wellness regimen. And I feel like everyone here that's on this call is we know this. We don't, we're not reactive people. We're proactive people with our products. So the number one thing for staying well in the winter is eating a balanced diet with whole foods. We tend to not eat as much fresh foods in the winter time um, because they're not as available as those, those yummy summer gardens where we have lots of farmers markets and things going on. And we cook our foods um, and when they're in their raw state, we get a lot of enzymes which are very helpful um, for our digestive system the enzymes, what they do is they actually help our body to eliminate toxins like we studied last week in our cleansing class. They help nourish the body with minerals and vitamins, and they, they just help in so many ways. Every area of our life, breathing, um, just everything we do needs enzymes. So I encourage you to research. Young Living has three or four different types. They have sulfur zyme, they have essential zyme, detox zyme, and there's certain ones specific, specific to help maybe with carbo a high diet of carbohydrates, a high diet of protein, you know, different 
we talked about that in the cleansing class too. For example, someone with a gallbladder needs enzymes to help break, that doesn't have their gallbladder needs enzymes to help break down fats. So enzymes are a great thing because they make up every aspect of your immune system, which you need to support during the winter months. Another thing is when we try to change our diets, if you have someone that's looking to changing their diet and wanting to eat more whole foods, then show them the Digest Vitality or Peppermint Vitality, how you can add that to a capsule um, and drink that and help your digestive system because when we do flood our bodies with those whole foods and we're not used to it, those high fibers can cause that occasional discomfort. Another thing that um, please, Read about limiting your, uh, and think about limiting your dairy products and your wheats and your breads. Dairy is so mucus forming and is a big reason that in the winter time that kids struggle, you know, with staying healthy. And so that is one of the first things we did with my daughter when we were trying to support those healthy ears. We took dairy away completely. Um, that's your milks, your ice creams, cheeses, and you will see drastic changes in your health if you are willing to give that up. And it may not be that you need to forever, but for a time. Okay, the next thing that I read was that we need to be getting plenty of vitamin C and things that are very high in antioxidants. The thing about vitamin C is our body does not store that. And so if we're not constantly eating the right foods um, or taking a supplement, we are not gonna have the vitamin C that we need. And you see there the fresh fruits, the fresh produce, you need to be eating those. We eat less of that in the winter. So if you're looking for a great C vitamin supplement, Young Living does have the Super C. And what's good about the C vi this vitamin C is that it's very high in antioxidants, which are gonna fight off the free radicals in our body. And Basically, free radicals, what they are is just they're a molecule that's missing an electron and it's going around your body trying to find a partner to pair up with to get that electron. But what it does is it can steal it from a healthy cell in your body. And so you want to provide that, um, that antioxidant for it to pair with so it doesn't grab from the cell of your body um, and leave it damaged. And so... Super C is a great one. We know our Ningxia Red is full of antioxidants. Um, personally, we drink this an ounce or two every day. I like to get it in these packets for the kids. They take it on the go in school in the mornings. And then we do this instead of like the Gatorades and things like that for all their sporting events. Um, they, need, they need good nutrients. And I know that Ningxia Red is that along with that high antioxidant. The reason that um, I put the, cl the clove and the thieves picture on there is because clove oil is actually the oil with the highest antioxidant count. And so um, I don't have, if you have, you know, the vitality of that oil, you could take that as a supplement internally, um, the clove vitality, or since clove is in your thieves blend, um, think about that one. Um, as part of your supplement routine, your Thieves Vitality, and you're going to get that clove involved. And so vitamin C and antioxidants are very important, important in keeping your immune system strong during the winter time. The next thing we're going to talk about, not for you South Texas people who get sun all the time, but... Um, is the what's the sun the sunshine does for you in the winter we tend to spend more time inside and and so it's very important that we find ways and make ourselves get out in the sunshine even when we don't want to because what the sunshine does is the sun actually helps your skin when the sun hits your skin vitamin d is produced and vitamin d promotes the production of serotonin, which is that good feeling hormone. There really is a moodiness that can come with it due to your lack of sunshine. And so make sure 
that you're doing things like, look, have you ever just smelled orange and the citrus oils and how bright they smell and how they literally can change the way you feel about something going on? Put things like joy in the diffuser uh, or orange, the citrus is in joy in your diffuser and smell that and help, that will help your mood or find your favorite oil, okay? Also, I put your emotional well-being, spend time with God's son, the real son of God, spend time in the word of God, spend time studying. You can, it's, it's just almost impossible to be in a mad, bad mood when you're in the word of God every day. Put praise music on. That's something that is very important. I believe that, um, you know, we moved here to Hungary and it has not, uh, there's great things about it that my husband's home with me. We're working together. You know, we have a lot more time to work on Young Living, which is what our goal was. But there's a, some loneliness that comes in that from moving to a country where you don't speak the language. And what I've had to do is I've had to put my praise music on every day. I've had to put a sermon on and, and hear the word of God in my home to keep myself up and anoint myself with frankincense, put orange, put joy on. And I, I put the Indoflex picture on there because also a big part of our moods is comes from the endocrine system. And so Indoflex is going to support your endocrine system and support that that the, your moods are balancing out that. And so we know Indoflex is also used um, regularly to support a healthy thyroid. So that is an oil that I place on my thyroid area um, when I use that, or it does come in vitality. So you can place that in a capsule and take it internally if you wanna support your emotional well being that way. But it has a wonderful smell. It has oils like it has uh, spearmint, sage, geranium, myrtle, which is one of the biblical oils, nutmeg, and German chamomile. It has a really pretty blue color, and it smells amazing. So it, it is definitely one that the smell can even be beneficial to your well-being. When I was reading through uh, on the website and got some of these tips together, I thought it was really uh, encouraging when number four came up, which said, use herbs and spices. Of course, it wasn't talking about using the oils the way we were. It was saying, use herbs and spices when you're cooking. And I thought, well, if, I'm, if that's going to be beneficial, then the raindrop is going to be amazing for the winter time. Because what's in the raindrop? Think of all the herb plants that are used in the raindrop massage. You know, we hear that herbs, when you're comparing an herb to an oil, we know that the herb is in the state of dead or dying, and the oil, the way Young Living does such a great job to do the steam distillation at a low temperature and low pressure, it keeps our oils super product, productive for our bodies and alive. And we know that we've heard this thousands of times that you know one drop of oil is like 26 cups of peppermint tea. So if herbs and spices are good in our diet, how amazing is getting a drop of oregano, a drop of thyme, basil, marjoram. Think of all those things that are in your raindrop. I know most of you have been to a raindrop class, and if you haven't, we would be glad to meet with you and teach you. This is a vital part of my family's health regimen. We do this monthly. Um, everyone in the family gets a raindrop monthly. And then if the kids come home on the weekend on a Friday, and I can just tell they're drained, they're tired, you know, sometimes that's when maybe some occasional sickness can happen when we're just in a state of our body is tired. And so I always right then stop and we do a raindrop. It's very important. If you don't have time to do the whole thing, do it on your feet. Make you a roller ball, a roller blend, and put some drops of each of these oils in it. Don't have an excuse that, oh, I can't have a full raindrop, so I shouldn't do it at all. Make yourself a roller blend and rub it up and down your spine. Put it on the bottom of your feet, okay? All of these oils in here are going to be 
super helpful for your winter wellness. And they all come in vitality as well. So things like oregano vitality, thyme vitality, basil vitality, think of what could, uh, you might want to make yourself a um, capsule with these oils for part of your wellness regimen. I know that Personally, time vitality is something that I will never go without because it is so supportive of the urinary tract. I have found great success with just taking that for me personally at least once a week, a couple of drops in a capsule. And then if I have occasional discomfort, maybe I didn't drink enough water one day or, you know, something just happens, then I'll definitely I'm going to do some time vitality if I'm having some discomfort when I'm using the restroom. So these, this is uh, your next great thing is raindrop. Number five on the list of saying well in the winter is drinking enough water. Okay, you've got to stay hydrated because that is going to be helping push toxins out of your body, um, which we learned um, in detail in Cleansing and Detox. That's on YouTube if you'd like to um, watch the, the recording, um, if you didn't catch that class live. Um, but what drinking water does is it's helping to flush your lymphatic system, which is what's moving those toxins through your body. It's also, drinking water is jump-starting your digestive system. It's great to do that first thing in the morning to help cleanse your colon and make sure you're going to the bathroom regularly. It's going to help your skin to look better. And did you know that most headaches that people have are actually just from dehydration? So make sure you're drinking half your body weight uh, in water every day, half your body weight in ounces in water every day, and change up your routine. If, you're, if it's too bland, if it doesn't taste well, add in your vitality oils. My favorites are the lime vitality. That's my number one favorite is lime. Um, I could do that every day. And then I like I, I like the grapefruit as well. And then when I want some extra digestive support, one drop of peppermint is all you need because it is very strong, um, but very invigorating, I guess you would say. And you know you can take that drop of peppermint during the winter to support your respiratory by putting a drop on the roof of your mouth and helping your sinuses and breathing deeply. So make sure you're getting enough water. Number six, exercise. Okay, you have got to get active during the winter. Sometimes we are pretty active in the summer. We get out and we, we walk every day. Um, we like, you know, we want to ride a bike a little bit or we go out and play with the kids, play with the grandkids. And I'm not going to lie, it is so cold here. I could just stay in every day and never leave the house. So I see that you have to make yourself sometimes to get up and get out and get moving. And so it's just important. It's important. Don't, if you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Whichever one you think. If you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So don't tell yourself you can't because you can. Find a place for women to go work out. Uh, find a place where you have a, a partner where you're having to meet because that's the best thing where you have accountability um, for yourself. But what does exercise do? It brings out the serotonin that we were talking about earlier that helps uplift your mood and beat those winter blues. It gives you a chance to do some really deep breathing, which is going to be vital for that detoxing that we talked about last week. Um, also, you eat heavier in the winter. You eat heavier. There's lots of um, holidays. And so it's important to keep your exercise up. Um, and so think of what could you be doing along with that exercise. I don't have it on the slide, but we know Young Loving has the sleep products that you can add in as well. And every time you're exercising, it is building your immune system. So also, it is a natural, even if you just choose to do some walking, that is a natural pump 
for your lymphatic system. So I put the JuvaFlex on, on the screen there because JuvaFlex is going to help support a healthy liver and a healthy lymphatic system. So if you're not getting the exercise right now that you need to, don't say, oh, I don't need to exercise. I'm just going to use JuvaFlex, okay? Can't do that. But if you're not getting the exercise you know you need, JuvaFlex is a good one to add in. Um, Juva, we know, supports liver, but this one is specific for liver and lymphatic to help keep that pumping. And we talked last week about even with the lymphatic system, just adding in like apple cider vinegar in the mornings or lemon juice, how good that is. But when you go exercise, put a drop of that peppermint vitality in your water, okay? It makes a lot of difference in getting the oxygen that you need as you're working out. And also RC for your respiratory health. It doesn't have to just be for in your diffuser on your chest, if you're having occasional discomfort, try it before, when you need to go and work out and you wanna be able to breathe deep. Okay, I just thought this was really cool. I don't know if you guys saw it on Facebook today or the Young Living website, but Gary Young just completed a Alaskan long distance uh, race with the uh, Great Alaskan Race. And it's just incredible to see at his age what he's putting himself to. So here's that quote I was saying, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Make sure that your words are not putting yourself in a place of not being successful. Think that find a goal and reach it, okay? Let him be your motivation that at any age, you can do what you need to do. No matter if that's getting starting to exercise, talking to someone about oils, whatever that may be. The next thing about saying um, healthy in the winter time is that you need to be getting enough sleep. And I know that for me, oh, that's been, I'm somewhat of the kids go to bed and I'm like, okay, I can get five more things done, you know, and then it ends up midnight. So don't do that. Put yourself in a great routine. How can you support healthy sleep? How can you get in? How can you be tired and your brain not overworked? Here's some ideas. When you do exercise, you are going to be tired at night, so it's really good to be active. Avoid caffeine, especially after lunchtime. Have a routine at night. Find a time that you're going to get yourself in bed every night. The more of a routine you're in, the more your body is going to relax naturally. And you tend to sleep better, studies show, if the room is cooler. Put some socks on because if your feet get cold, you wake up, okay? So the room needs to be cooler and warm feet. Try taking a bath with something like the lavender that you see there or one of your favorites like Peace and Calming. Um, there's a, there's uh, probably 20 oils you could use for um, promoting calmness and relaxation. So use your favorite. Take the electronics out of your room. Leave them in the kitchen. Go to bed. <laughs> Read a book for 30 minutes. And then put your diffuser on with the cedar wood or the lavender or one of those things as well. Have that going in the room. Another thing is if lavender can be calming in your bath, try putting a few drops under your tongue before you go to bed because lavender is very calming and the lavender vitality, you can take that internally and under the tongue. Any oil under the tongue is going to be the fastest way to get it into your bloodstream. So that's a good one to try at night or your favorite before bed. Um, so we talked just right there. I just wanted to mention that, you know, we t I just, I've told you many times that you need to take, you can take Young Living oils internally. And I would only recommend that from Young Living because of their seed to seal process. We know that with Young Living, we are getting a pure 
oil. Um, my husband and I both have had the opportunity to visit Young Living Farms. Um, I was able to visit the, the farm in um, Mona, Utah, um, where lavender is grown when I went to convention a couple of years ago, and my husband in May was able to visit the farm in Croatia where heliochrism is grown, and we're planning to take our team here in Hungary to the, um, when they distill heliochrism in October, so we're really excited about that. But get yourself to a farm and see firsthand that there is not gonna be any chemicals used on the plants. We know that they are steam distilled, so there's not some type of, um, um, there's not like a chemical put on the plants to let it, you know, let the oils, release the oils, make the plants release the oils, it's the steam. And so, um, we could go all day into seed to seal and how important it is, but as I'm talking today, I would never recommend taking any oils internally if they're not young living or to use in general if they're not young living. Um, so one of the other things that is great for the winter wellness that you need to have for your body is you need to have that good bacteria um, in your gut, okay? and so. Life Nine is Young Living's probiotic. And so it is time release. That's what's different about it. If you're trying to say, why is this this price? And I see some at the store shelf, you know, at Kroger or whatever. You need to look at the amount of um, the, um, sorry, the different strands that are on there. And then the fact that it is time released, what that means is that when it reaches the gut, it's not gonna open just yet where all that stomach acid is because what happens is if the probiotic is released too soon, that stomach acid will break it down or kill it before it gets where it really needs to be, which is in your um, digestive tract on the way down to your colon. So the probiotic is gonna keep, you need to keep those levels balanced um, so that your gut can stay healthy. And stress hurts those, um, that, that really, um, that balance, stress hurts it. Our packaged and processed foods hurt that balance in our gut. Antibiotics, they hurt that balance in our gut. And so think about how I can have a strong and healthy, packed full of good bacteria in my gut. So your apple cider vinegar, we've talked about that many times, just a couple of teaspoons in your water in the morning is very beneficial. I saw, um, I posted that on Facebook just last week and Susie said, she added in like a couple of drops of orange oil, I believe, or lemon oil and it, and I tried that this week and it really does help with the flavor if you are not used to that. It is a strong flavor. And um, having your fermented foods like kombucha and things like that are very beneficial to your gut. And things like kefirs and yogurts. And that's a milk product, so you have to decide if that's something that's good or bad for your own system. But the fermented milk products are gonna be better than just like drinking milk. But make sure you're not buying like Yoplait strawberry with 42 grams of sugar in it, okay? If you're having your yogurts and you want that good bacteria from that, then you're gonna need to get like a plain yogurt, add some fruit and maybe a little honey to it to sweeten it up yourself or add like a Vitality Orange. We made a great yogurt this summer. We bought some organic yogurt and we squeezed some lime and put some lime Vitality and some honey in there and made like a key lime yogurt. It was delicious, okay? So when, um, look for those recipes. The, it's better to just make your own than find, buy the prepackaged. So number nine on staying well in the winter is to stay moisturized. Dryness is a huge issue that creates problems, um, problems for your skin. We all know that Young Living has like the lavender lotions and things like that. So I wanted to put something out here that you may not be familiar with, which is the Animal Sense ointment. It is a 
it is in the animal line, but thank goodness that means I can use it too because it is a very cost effective product. It's a very thick ointment, but it's perfect for your elbows and your knees and your heels in the winter time when you're needing that extra moisture. Or when I make like my own salves with my oils, like if I want to make something, you know, for the kids' skin, then that's a good one that you can just heat up a little bit, put a little scoop in a pan and heat it a little bit, then take it off. And while it's still melted, add in whatever oils that you want and put it in a glass jar. And it's so cost effective in comparison to like the rose ointment. The rose ointment has somewhat of the same consistency as that, and that gives you way more for the price, okay? So keep yourself moisturized. When I was researching what the dryness in the air does, is because we are indoors with each other all the time, a lot of people say, well, we just all get sick because it's cold. Well, really, we don't. One of the reasons is because we, are, we don't get the fresh air in our houses. We're all closed off. Um, the air is drier. And when the air is drier, actually viruses and things like that can move easier throughout the air. And so what I like to do is to keep my, um, keep my house you know, not too moist, but I like to have my diffusers running to offset the dryness that the heat can bring in the winter time. So I'm always, almost every night, year round, my kids have thieves going in the diffuser. Um, in the winter, you may want to pick something that has those eucalyptus oils and things like that, like the RC or the Raven in the diffuser. Um, those are two of our favorites. If you're not sure about, you know, maybe you got RC in your starter kit, it has three different types of eucalyptus. The Raven to me smells a little sweeter um, and it has more of a peppermint type smell, but they both work great and you could use them at, on your chest, like as a chest rub on your back, you could put them in the bottom of your feet on the respiratory type areas, your sinus areas, your lung areas, okay? But they're wonderful, wonderful in the diffuser as well. So um, another thing is I saw, um, I can't remember her name, but it's a lady under Laura uh, Hopkins, our upline, so she's like a cross line to us. She made her own nasal spray to help keep her nasal passages moist in the winter time. And she used, um, she just used like a filtered water and she added in some Himalayan sea salt. Okay, so like a salt water solution, which we see that a lot for like a nasal spray. And she added in copaiba. She added in um, frankincense and lavender. Copaiba, and I guess she used, you know, since it was internal, Vitality, Copaiba uh, Vitality, um, Lavender Vitality, Frankincense Vitality. I believe she used five drops of each. When I've made mine in the past, I've only used about two drops of each. So it just depends on you. Is it going to be for a child? Is it going to be for yourself? Try it out. See how it works. But don't use like a, a hot oil, like a Thieves or anything like that. Use something mild that can be supportive to that dryness and help with moisturizing. And you can get these kind of little things from Amazon. Number 10. So relax, laugh, and enjoy life, okay? You can't be well if you're tense all the time. Um, so since we've moved here to Hungary, um, something that, you know, we actually had a prophecy before we left of some things that the reason God brought us here and the guy told us that the Lord was telling Laurent that anytime he has the opportunity to speak, he needs to take advantage of that 
um, and that learning process because in his future he'll be speaking and we don't know exactly what that means if that means young living or something else but speaking is not something that just comes naturally to him although he loves having conversations with people and talking he's very much a people person you guys know that but he's not like get up in front of a huge crowd speak and so we moved here and we started attending this church that's bilingual and it's you know the preacher really likes to speak in Hungarian because that's his native language and he does know English but he's not as um, you know, it, it, he just doesn't feel like he explains himself well. And we only have one translator at the church that works full time all the time for years and she never gets a break. And it's like the moment we walked into that church and they saw this man that speaks two languages, it was like, you know, they zeroed in on him and were like, wanted him, him to speak and translate the service. And one Sunday, one Sunday after he translated, he, it's not something that he just loves to do, but like that prophecy said, it's God's opened that door and he's got to step through it and do that. And he knows that it's part of our purpose here, but, um, he got up and he translated the service, the whole service, you know, it was like 40 minutes and we got in the car and like his whole body, he was sore all over. It was, he was so tense the whole service and he's getting better at it but it was like that um the emotions of that physically affected his body so you have got to let the stress and the anxiety and the things that affect you you've got to let them go did you know that when you when something happens to you that you know, maybe it's, it's not your fault. Maybe it was a situation in, in past years. Maybe you got in a car wreck or something traumatic happened. Did you know that when you replay that in your mind, that your body doesn't know if you're really going through it again, or like that your body doesn't realize that it's a memory. It's as if you're putting yourself through it again and again, physically, whatever it did to you at that time. So please, please let go, okay? Look forward, and God's got this. He knows what's going to, don't stress about tomorrow. In Matthew 6, it says, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying at a single hour to your life? So just let God handle what he's going to handle. Don't stress about the things of this world. Just be a child of God and let him handle it. He's the parent and he's going to handle it for you. And what I love about this kind of thing, us getting together and learning from one another, laughing with each other. Proverbs 17 says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. You have to relax, laugh, stay positive. Put your joy and your orange in the diffuser. Put your praise music on, okay, and let go and let God. <laughs> so that was the 10, stay well, but I did want to put this one slide in here of what happens when you do in the winter, you know, something's happening and you're having those seasonal discomforts that can happen, okay? So you want to hit things hard. Maybe you want to do raindrop, you know, three times that week, okay? Look at inner defense. Um, inner defense is meant to create um, inside of you a um, a place that is you know defending from anything you can imagine it has such a potent lineup of oils like the thieves blend oregano thyme lemongrass you can what i would be doing with inner defense in those times of seasonal discomfort is i would be taking that three times a day okay until i'm seeing improvement in what's going on or a very popular trio from young living users is if you don't have inner defense 
no problem. Look at the oils that are in it. Make your own little blend at home. Or look at right here, we have frankincense, thieves, and oregano. That's just one of those that I've heard ever since I've joined Young Living, that that's something you can put in your capsule and do three times a day as well. So we want to be preventative with our health. We want to take steps necessary. And I hope the 10 things that we went over today, you know, helped you see things you can be doing to promote wellness in your body. And then these are things that if that occasional discomfort comes, hit it hard. If one drop of oil is not doing what you want it to, do two drops of oil. If two drops is not doing it, do three drops of oil. Okay, you do and and so forth. Everyone I've read online, act or not online, in some different research books, that different blood types actually need different amounts of oil. If I've read that O blood types need maybe four times as much oil as an A. Okay, and we can talk about that some more. But that's why. You know, I'm not a doctor and I don't prescribe, but I wouldn't ever need to because everyone is so different that I wouldn't want to tell somebody one thing and they get, you know, I, I'm O and I use a lot of oil. There's times I'll take 20 drops of oil or more a day and somebody else might, that may detox them so terribly that they need to be in the bathroom all day. So just remember, be your own health detective, try your own things. Don't let this be like, oh, I loved how she talked about this. I need to research that some more. I want this to help to encourage you to do your own research and learn even more. Okay. And so if you're already a Young Living member and you're out of some of the oils we talked about today, a great kit to look into is the Golden Touch Kit because it has a lot of these oils we mentioned like Melrose that I talked about for the ears, Raven and RC for the diffuser and breathing easily, okay? the It comes with four of the um, Vitality oils like Digiz, the Endoflex for your endocrine, endocrine system that you would put on your thyroid area, the Thieves Vitality that's going to support that healthy immune system, and then the Juvaflex for the lymphatic system and keeping that pump. So this, if you're on Essential Rewards and you're looking to, you don't want to buy all these things individually or not in a 15 milliliter, this comes in this kit of five milliliters for a very good price. So that's something that you can look into. And just for those that may be joining later through YouTube or online, you would like the best way for a Young Living member to order is going to be through the Essential Rewards Program because that's going to give you better shipping. You're going to get free products if you meet those monthly promotions and you can stop at any time. There's absolutely no contract to sign and you get points back each month. So months one through three, you'll get 10% back. Months four through 24, 20% back. And after 25 months, 25% back where you can earn free products with those points. I looked it up today and this month I'm on my 68th consecutive month. I can't believe that, but I guess you could say that I'm an oiler. If you are um, new to Young Living and you have never started and you want to know where to begin, you're going to want to start with a premium starter kit, which has a lot of the oils that we discussed today, like the peppermint, lemon, thieves, and digize, RC, and um, we will be glad to go through every oil with you in that kit if you have never started with Young Living. You would simply go to the youngliving.com website and you would go right here to become a member. 
Now you'll want to get with whoever showed you this video. So if you have a, um, a friend who, who um, shared this video, they're going to have a specific number that you'll put in as a sponsor and enroller um, so that they can help you learn how to use Young Living. And if no one, if, if you don't have anyone that shared this video and you would like to, uh, me to sponsor you, you can see the numbers there. Um, mine is 104-5132, and if Kathleen or Robert showed that to you, it's 184-740. I'm so glad that everyone could join us today. So let us know if you have any questions by emailing us at louisianaoiler at gmail.com. Mm -hmm.